Hello there. Hello. It's not hello. It's hello. It's hello. <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> Welcome to the book coven. Welcome. El Libro Coven. Uh, we're your bi-weekly book review podcast run by us two. That's Chelsea. And that's Lillian. Just a couple of witchy gals. No, just two know. witchy gals talking <laughs> about witchy things. Oh, and Brandon, he's a sound engineer. He's, you don't get to see him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should just put a photo of him right there. Yeah. <laughs> but like his dorkiest photo. <laughs> I'll find oh. one. <laughs> um, we also review some other stuff like film and TV. And we have weekly and daily tarot spreads, monthly tarot spreads now. Look um, at that fly. Oh, my monthly. God. Just That's so a lot of hair. I know. We got f- uh, tarot reviews. We got witchy merch hauls. We got unboxing videos. We got a bunch of shit. You can find us in all podcast platforms and social media sites. Our main one is thebook.coven. That's Instagram. The dot book dot coven. The what did I say? I don't know. I don't know. The <laughs> dot book coven. Um, and YouTube, we use a lot that you can find our <clears throat> books, our uh, recipes, and drink mixes on there. Um, all our reviews, you know, the stuff. Some cool stuff. Some fun behind the scenes pictures and mm-hmm. videos. Mm-hmm. We have two merch stores. We got Threadless. We got Redbubble. Mm-hmm. The book coven, or some variety of that. It's just it's that. It's, yeah. It's, Stuff. Um, this month's theme is dope. Yes. Witchcraft, witchcraft through the ages. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just here <laughs> chimes. Here. Yeah. <laughs> um, we began back in ye old times with the dope, the year of the witching, mm-hmm. Alexis Henderson. So good. Read it, then go listen to that. Yeah, yeah. That was like. Old witchcraft. Then we Yo. went to the 80s with We Ride Upon Sticks. I forgot the author. Quan. 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 Quan, Quan, Quan Berry. Berry. That's it. Mm-hmm. And now we are in modern times with Hex <clears throat> by that one. That one there. That one. Hex by Thomas Old Hevelt. Mm-hmm. Sorry if I didn't say it right, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, this one, it's set in 2012, I believe. Mm-hmm. It came out in 2016. I thought I saw 2016. Oh, so he just wanted to. Maybe the that's English, the Canadian. The, the English, English version came yeah. out. There it goes. He's yeah. Dutch. We'll mm-hmm. get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Hex. Hot synopsis. Here's the team th- through. Swoosh. Here's the theme song. <laughs> Whoever is born here is doomed to stay till death. Whoever settles never leaves. Welcome to Black Spring, the seemingly (laughs) picturesque Hudson Valley town haunted by the Black Rock Witch, dope name, a 17th century woman whose eyes and mouth are sewn shut. Muzzled, she walks the streets and enters your home at will. She stands next to your bed bed for for nights on end. I don't know how to talk. Everybody knows that her eyes may never be opened. The elders of Black Spring have virtually quarantined the town by using high-tech surveillance to prevent their curse from spreading. Frustrated with being kept in lockdown, the town's teenagers decide to break their strict regulations and go viral with the haunting. But in doing so, send the town spiraling into the dark medieval practices of the past. Boy, do they ever. Oh, heckin', they make a real oopsie. <laughs> Lots of bad decisions yeah. in this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our food and drink mm-hmm. pairing, I have made Griselda's famous pate <laughs> vegan. Um, so it's bean and nut-based instead it. of liver. But it <gasps> smells just like the liver one. Yeah. Spices. I put liver in it. No, it's <laughs> human liver. Oh. Um, the drink is, I don't know what it's called. It's some witchy brew that was supposed to be multicolored, but, you know, it's it's, it's cool. all. Hey, I don't know. know how to say cheese. There's gin, Dutch. there's blue stuff, there's soda. Dear God, that's sweet. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to mix it. No, I like it. <laughs> yeah, you're fucked. The lemon helps it. You drink so much cider. <laughs> 
sugar cannot mm-hmm. penetrate me. <laughs> it'll it'll mix. I middle. really like it. Cool. It's got a good tang to it. Good tang. zip. It definitely has got zip. If you're looking for the zip, yeah, zip 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 bop zip zippity. What do you think of this book, Chelsea? Yeehaw! Like what? That. An adventure it was. <laughs> Sorry, I left you on the edge of your seat there. <laughs> it was so freaking good. I actually had to put it down because I was too disturbed. I should. We should ha- have a heavy warning. I think this is our first major warning. If you are easily triggered by suicide, do not read this. Yeah. It's like a suicide bonanza. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone and their mothers and are killing themselves. Killing himself, you know? And now he's dreaming of smashing his face it's on the rocks. Very, <laughs> this may be the most disturbing book we've read. I think it is, yeah. Which is saying a lot because we've read some like gory disturbing books like Little Heaven. I was going to say Little Heaven, Nick Cutter. But, um, but this one, just the way he writes suicide and then... The family dealing with it yes. and losing their mind. He it's, writes uh, it so well. Yeah, I had to put it away. For I know. A wee bit. I know. Yeah, I was like, and I was reading it in bed, so I'm just like, well, now I'm gonna just, just have a wonderful such sleep. Such a bummer. <laughs> such a bummer. <laughs> such. A, it's a little like Chuck Palahniuk. If you've ever read it, <clears throat> people, I highly recommend him. Where like it's just so sad <laughs> and dark and disturbing, and then you finish a book and you're like. Cool, well, I'm just going to go walk in front of a bus now. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll go cry over there. Cool. <laughs> um, but good that you could get that reaction out of people. Totally. Good on yeah. you, Thomas. Yeah. He seems like such a nice, jolly, he looks like a happy dude. I love dude. his picture. He's yeah, just look like at him. such a normal Joe. And then I'm reading his book like, like holy oh. fuck. It starts innocently enough. Sure, sure. There's this witch, but it's been 300 years since she's been haunting them, so the yep. town is so it's used to her. a long fucking time. Yeah. It's like, it's so funny that the first haunting, they just like throw a dish towel over yeah. her. Yeah. Oh my God. That's hilarious though. Like this is the weirdest type of witch we've seen in yeah. a book, right? Where she's just mulling about like, oh, just she's in creeping. our house. I didn't think she'd be here today. Oh, it's fine. Just, just put a doily around. over her face. <laughs> just walking around, being yeah. creepy. Not hurting anyone, just being a real fucking creep. At first I didn't realize that was the witch in the Grant house. I thought it was actually yeah. his grandma. <laughs> I was like, why are they just putting I a, the a doily piano, on his grandma? I thought the piano was like some weird like Postmodern dance or whatever. I did too. Yeah. Um. I thought it was a normal person. I was so fucking. I didn't confused. understand what was. Happening. I was trying to visualize. So there's a piano. Yeah. And it's closing on. I didn't get it. His writing's kind of funny because he would put things that he would put the reaction of something that happened and then go over what happened. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like, okay, hold on. <laughs> I had to like backtrack. Like, did I miss something? Because I'm often like reading yeah. very late, and I'm yeah. just like, huh. <laughs> I liked it though. Like they're they're so used to her. Mm-hmm. Um, her power though, she can make you want to kill yourself. Like she, everyone mm-hmm. who is born there or decides to settle there, if you leave and if it's been too long, you will be suddenly overcome with thoughts of suicide. It's because they made her kill herself. Mm-hmm. That's Revenge. really her whole thing. Mm-hmm. And then like, you're not supposed to open her eyes or mouth, or else doom will befall doom. everyone. But everyone's just, they're so chill when she first comes. And then those people come and move in and they're like, oh, here we go. We have to go ruin their lives. <laughs> so like, it's okay. When you move in, the curse is like, "Ha, we got you. Right. Mm-hmm. But what if you like visit for a week? Does the curse know the difference? Uh, yeah. It's, it's when you settle, like you okay. buy land there, you make the decision, like I'm staying here. Perfect. I think you can sleep over, but they don't like it because then they have to watch. Yeah, her. where the witch is. Like, so Hex, be really careful. Hex is what they call the uh, the like ghost police. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole town is surveilled twenty four seven everywhere, and if Catherine, because they can't block the town off, people like mm-hmm. drive by. There are visitors, so. They have people ready for if she pops up somewhere mm-hmm. to like cover her with something, um, set up roadblocks if she's hovering <laughs> around. <laughs> Fucking, they make the whole thing about the town, the Black Rock Witch, but they they make it sound like it's some fun fake historical thing. Yeah, so like on Halloween they yeah. leave her be and people like think she's an actor. An actor. <laughs> they really it's go smart. above and beyond. No, it's great. I like it. That'd be fun. <laughs> 
Now Maybe. I'm suspicious of anywhere we go for Halloween. Oh, oh but they're just an actor. Okay. <laughs> Are there, you know, one of the people that move in, she says, like, why don't you just try to, like, talk to her and figure it out? Really should have. Uh-huh. Really that was should've. my first thought. Like, guys, no one tried diplomacy? 300 years. Yeah. And they're like, but we did everything. I feel like they did it. No, no. They didn't. We play Pathfinder, guys. We know what you can yeah. diplomacy. Like, I know she's very powerful, but... Fucking talk to the gal. Oh, yeah. and, and she whispers, and if you hear her whispers, you kill yourself. You kill yourself. Sounds like so. a fun challenge to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already sad, bitch. <laughs> Try me. I already have intrusive <laughs> thoughts. Me. What are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to say I haven't already said? <laughs> um. So it's interesting to see, like, the old folks are like, no, old <laughs> Catherine, you know, we got to do what she mm-hmm. says. And then the young folks... They they want freedom. They, yeah, because their internet is heavily restricted. They can't, like, go to a new college outside of town. Mm-hmm. Tyler, one of the characters, he's dating an outsider, and he can't, like, see her and marry her. And <laughs> they can't have sleepovers together. <laughs> 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 and they're always being watched, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's that whole, like, censorship is big part of this book. Mm-hmm. It's a... Uh, mm. Definitely interesting. Again, this is a very unique witch story to me anyway. <laughs> this is yeah. crazy. So different. And there's no mystery. It's just like, yep, yeah, she's exactly. been haunted for 300 years. <laughs> mm-hmm. And this is she. And that's 300 years too long, guys. You can fix. It's a good drink. It's so sweet. I don't think it's that sweet. Hey, Brandon, can you get me my wine? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's in the door. The chop isn't so bad. Oh, well, you didn't mix it, I guess. I mixed it to try and get the stuff through it. Sweet at it's all. sweet. You're crazy. I don't know. Maybe I just got the diabetes coming, you know? I don't, I don't know. You like a sweet drink. I love a sweet drink, You like yeah. a sweet drink. I like a sweet cake. Goes down nicer. I don't know. Where was I? <laughs> cool, spooky, overwhelming sense of dread. There's an overwhelming sense of dread. <laughs> Including with us. If I didn't cover it. <laughs> <laughs> while reading it oh my god i do feel this dread maybe that was the whole plan he wanted like Catherine's aura mm. to like extend off the pages it fucking works really yeah it sure i really don't think she's as bad as they say like no. i think they've built her up as something and they're the ones that make that are making it so suicidal exactly that was kind of like the moral of the story at yeah. the end is that like blackrock fucked themselves mm-hmm. like you get everything that happened they did to themselves She's was probably totally... just whispering a nice song. <laughs> or like that rap song that's like, hey, Thank little you. mama, let me whisper in you. Yeah. That's what she's saying. <laughs> that's exactly what she's saying. Every every decade she picks Or maybe a new she's song. saying, excuse me, can you please unfucking sew my mouth and eyes? And they're just like, ah! And fucking burn me so I can leave this fucking place. Yeah, right? Just get, try and get Talk rid of to her. the gal. Who, have they not brought in other witches? Mm. Wait. Like modern witches to come and talk. Oh, to her I and see. Try to, I thought you meant like, like other walking around witches. <laughs> well, if one. there's this one witch that there's gotta be is more. so powerful that can do this somewhere in the world, there has to be someone else. But it would be kept secret too. Have the witches unite? Mm. Oh God! Yeah, they get the government involved in this, and they're like, "We don't want to deal with this." No, no. I'm gonna have some pate. Try it out. And see what it's like. It's a good thing you got a a thick cracker. Oh yeah. So that it's easily scoopable. Some break. Good. <laughs> Good. It's got some spice to it. Or, <laughs> or does it? I want that. Yeah. Not that spicy. Oh, there it is. Oh. Mm-hmm. I can't grab it. It's a slow burn. I like it. Yep. <laughs> Good thing you have sugar. <laughs> oh. You're going to hear a lot of crunching. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got some thick pitas. Mm, that's very good. Mm. So the emergency decree mm-hmm. in this town. <laughs> Chewing over here. <laughs> golly, do they take it too far. <laughs> yeah. You can like, they flog people in the streets. Mm-hmm. They tie them up. There's one guy, they make them go to a town called Doodle Town, which is outside of the city limits. So you feel her suicidal pull. 
but they supervise you so you don't yeah. kill yourself. So it just and it you're makes stuck you go in like insane. a padded room yeah. by yourself. Um, and what they put one guy in there a bunch of times, and then it fucks with his mind. And to keep him quiet, they just chain him up mm-hmm. in the basement and starve him to death. And then he just dies. Yeah. Well, he doesn't just die. He tries to <laughs> rape a girl, and, and then, then he dies. He just dies. <laughs> Gotta add it's in little, that old little murder. One more rape. <laughs> Before I perish. Glad she killed him. <laughs> yeah. So, so violently, uh, too. It's really a, not a great way Mm-mm. to punish some folks. Um, Jaden. Let's get into the characters. Oh, Jaden. Jaden. He um, is the scum of the earth. Yeah. Jaden and Griselda Holst. Listen, they come from a fucked up family. They do. Her husband, his father, was abusive mm-hmm. and a drunk. And he wound up killing himself because of Catherine. That's very polite of you. <laughs> um, but, like, everyone just abandoned Jade. Like, I'm not excusing what he did because he's fucked. He purposely torments the witch. He cuts her up. He exposes her. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is he old enough to know her. what he's doing. Yeah. And he gets, like, he has an insane temper. He a threw an animal. Assault her. <laughs> yeah. He threw an animal to get, like killed by her Mm -hmm. and he didn't care so he's a fucked up individual but like the town never helped him ever and they took it way too far yeah and then instead of like helping him and clearly Mm -hmm. getting him the psychological help he clearly needs Mm -hmm. they're just like let's fucking flog him in the street and then put him in doodle town yep he gets 20 lashes and uh is unconscious yeah, he's unconscious after like five, and the guy just keeps yeah. lashing him. He's like eighteen yeah. or twenty, and then the other ones are younger. They're like Ooh. seventeen. Yeah. yeah, he talks. Uh, what are their names? I can't remember. Jason and uh, Barack. They get talked in to abusing the witch with mm-hmm. Jaden. Which is, like, be- when they start stoning the witch, an elder in town dies. That's, like, her whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know? You fuck me up, I kill one of well, you. Well, she's got, like, so much energy that releases that mm-hmm. it, like, kills the weaker population. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, like, three old people had died at one point in the 60s, right? Mm-hmm. I think it was three. Yeah. Like, yes, he put the whole town at risk, but um, you flogged, kid. Yeah, what the fuck? And, like, they close the whole town, so they make it seem like there's some... Mm-hmm. construction or like some yeah. big event happening and then the whole town gathers in the square like in the 1600s mm-hmm. and they flog a kid and then they're watching and they're all like oh shit they have their own flogger that they pull out of a museum dust her off yeah they oiled it up not the whip one it's the like the, the rod nine too <sighs> it's got the beads on the end i try to imagine what that would feel like so I like whip myself <laughs> with like, huh? Ow! A shoelace. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it felt a bit of a snap, but <laughs> these kids are like bleeding. This reminds me, if you want to watch a good flogging, it, if that's you, what sure, you're into, sure. <laughs> Outlander. Um, Jamie gets flogged so much that his ba- it, like three hundred times. He's oh, unconscious. Fuck. He's like. He can't hold his weight, so he's like dangling. Oh my god! And his back is like it doesn't even look like there is no back back anymore. Yeah, your skin's gone. Dark. Fuck. This doesn't go that far, but like it's it's pretty 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 far. They have a town vote, but because the whole town is so like revved up by Catherine, and their votes anonymous. Yeah, like you get to just fill out a secret ballot. And I feel like fuck those. Like this whole thing is so used to them. They know that they can do this shit and get away with it. They're all like, "Yeah, I'll fucking do it. Flog them. We want blood." Well, and then later, like, "Oh, we need a human sacrifice." Like, guys, it didn't work the first fucking time. (laughs) That was Griselda. She's like, first she sacrifices a fuck. (laughs) She grows to become obsessed with Catherine. Oh yeah. I see what she's trying to do. She's trying to befriend her and worship her to not... But she's nuts. Like, go crazy if (laughs) she ever gets unleashed. Sure. Sure. But don't sacrifice animals to her. And then at one point, she's like, I'll kill my son for her. (laughs) She's, like, really close, got the knife on his neck, and she's like, well... And then at the very end, when the town is gaining up on him, she locks him out of the house, so he gets ripped apart. So that was... uh, the visuals were great in that. I was picturing the uh, scene from Mother where they've got Ooh, baby boy. Jesus and they rip him to shreds. Yeah, it's I was pretty picturing much that. that. It's pretty much Jayden. that. 
He's Sorry. just pulp in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Again, 18, guys. Mm-hmm. I know 18-year-olds. You're, you're an adult enough to be a piece of shit. Sure. And he was. He was yeah. a piece of shit because he got his friend killed and shit, even at, like after everything. Um, well, that's because they fucking ruined him. Oh, I know. They put him in Doodle Town, and he looks like an eighty-year-old at the end, and but he can't like, walk. What happened to Matt? That's that's when I had to put the book down. He, reading what happened to Matt with the mushrooms and everything, like gluing his eyes shut. Oh my god! Should we get into the Grant family, or should we go to the lighter? We can we can we can start light. <laughs> Jaden just threw me for a whirl. <laughs> we got Robert Grimm. He's a good guy. Mm-hmm. He's the leader of Hex, and um, bit of a weirdo. He's a little weird, but you know it's a weird town. You wife, yeah. He's just doing what he can to keep them safe. Mm-hmm. Um, Trying not to get kids flogged. <laughs> he's very strongly against that. Mm-hmm. But the town leader, Colton Mathers, who is he? Just like a he, council member? Yeah, he's the head council okay. councilman. He's this old fuck. He's the worst. He he's, is yeah. so for the flogging. Mm-hmm. Um, he's for all the archaic practices. Yeah, he's like a man of God. Uh-huh. So of course he's the worst one. Oh, yeah, there. every fucking town meeting he starts with a Bible quote. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was the one that was like, "We got to keep Arthur locked in the basement yeah. and starve him." Um, but then, of course, in the end, when shit gets rough, he's like, nope, "He's the first to gotta kill himself. myself." <laughs> Not because of Catherine, just because I don't want to deal. Yeah, with I this. can't do this. <laughs> Uh, we got Peter Vandermeer, who's he's been born and raised there. Mm-hmm. Another good guy. Uh, his son is Lawrence, who's Tyler's bestie, mm-hmm. next door neighbor. Mm-hmm. Lawrence is one of the good kids that does not take part yes. in the torture. Yeah. Um, again, like Robert, he's just trying to get by, you know, make the best of the town. Mm-hmm. Just don't fuck up the witch, and we'll all be we'll okay. We'll be fine. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> yep. Um, Catherine. Sweet Catherine. <laughs> Catherine Van Weiler. Sweet baby angel. Look, she was exiled. She was tortured. She lost her son. Did they kill her son? Yes. Well, they, she they made her kill him. Did, who killed him first, though? Because he died, and then she brought him to life. And then they I made think. her kill him to save her other kid. Mm-hmm. And then they killed her. Yeah, but I think... Um, so, he, I think, just died of, like... I don't know, TB or something, right? Like, it was just one of the diseases that was going around. But here's the thing. It was never actually confirmed in the book that Mm. he did die. All Thomas ever wrote was that townsfolk said they saw her burying her son in the forest and Mm. wearing, like, grieving clothes, attire and shit. And then they saw the son a a couple days later. Maybe she buried something else. Maybe she was a bit. Maybe she never had power. And what gave her power was, like, their... Her anger and rage. Yeah, like, I get it. And in the the end, really, like, yes, she has this aura about her. Sure. But when... But it was their fault. Yeah, (laughs) when she opens her eyes and mouth, like, Mm -hmm. the townspeople feel it, but they're the ones who react in that way. Even, like... (laughs) Steve walks up to her in the end, and he's looking at her, and she is shocked by it. She's just standing there like, whoa. I want you to know I didn't do fucking any of this. (laughs) This is a you problem. (laughs) I just wanted my fucking peacock. The whole time, she's like, guys, I had to kill my my own kid. Mm -hmm. I don't want anyone to feel this way. I just want to be free. And then everyone's like, we need to sacrifice a child. And she's like, that's not what I said. (laughs) And she got her like two kids at the end, kind of. She took other people's kids, and then the fucking and shot idiot him. kills them. And then the next, <laughs> then the next set to just like, and that's when all hell broke. <laughs> yeah, no like, shit. Yep. <laughs> you killed her next set of children. No, when you were aiming. She for really the, oh wasn't the big evil. No, no. And but they it was. It, we got a good like twist about that at the end because like he kept making her out to be the big evil like oh she's doing all these terrible things but then i was like man i really hope at the end she's not the the bad guy do you think like her whole thing she just wanted someone to suffer what she suffered like she picked steve i think she wanted people to understand her and understand why she was in so much pain because Mm. that's the thing is they don't care why she's in pain they just don't want to be in pain themselves yeah. And yeah, Steve, like, he got it. He had to he make the same be- decisions. Yeah, he kind of and- becomes Catherine, the next Catherine at the yeah. end. Oh, my God. Maybe that, that was, was her whole such thing. A good ending. To free her, she has to have someone else be Replace that. her. 
I think she. How weird would that had, be? Like a modern male weirdo niche. walking around with his eyes and. They already it, do that. They're already breaking in and fucking. There's someone uh, near my town that oh did that. No. Yeah, but did, were his eyes and mouth no, sewn shut? That's uh, alarming to see. I that'll get you. I mean, I'd call the police, but mm-hmm. what do also, you do, sir? F, what did like, you did you do that to yourself? Do you need help? Because she doesn't like attack you. She just stands. She just there. stands there, so muttering. <laughs> you man, you come home from a long day at work, and she's oh, just fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Put a doily over okay. it. <laughs> I'm trying to just talk to the gal. There was that weird scene at the end where all the children were, he described it as like they made a breast. Oh, and yeah. And she was on the top of the and breast. And she was like giving them milk. Milking them. I didn't care for that. It was fucking weird. <laughs> it was fine. Like even the sex scenes and stuff, it wasn't. No, that It wasn't. was just like, and then they fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one was like. A lot of breast. I didn't milking. know what to picture, so I was like picturing them swaddled in like a white blanket. Yeah, and I then, could like, not imagine a boob. My someone dude. threw something, and then they all went tumbling. So I thought, I was like, pictured, it rips because there was like four hundred kids, right? Yeah, piled. I thought it was just like a triangle of kids, and she was on the top, like, yeah. Yeah, and then they're just like, oh no. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny, it was. <laughs> but weird. I was like, do I reread that? No. <laughs> There's a lot of titty Going stuff in it. this book. Yeah, she gets her boob poked mm-hmm. and cut up. Uh, her nipples get like... And then there was some other guy. There was something with nipples. Or maybe that was just in my mind. <laughs> Didn't someone's nipples get like twisted or something? <laughs> you know, not what I recall. I think it was just you. you. <laughs> Listen, he talks about boobs a lot. He does. He okay. does. <laughs> He did talk about Catherine's nipples. Yes. Being very I swear dark. there was something else with the, the nipple. Yes, Colton. He attacks Griselda. He's squeezing her nipple to get oh, her. Oh, he was like squeezing her boob. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you imagine just like man hand just, just twisting? Yeah, that Lou, why? Yeah, 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 what are you yeah. doing, you psycho? Also, Thomas, let's get into this. Where does this where, boob thing right? come from? Were you weaned too soon? <laughs> you are you can. mad at boobs now? <laughs> You want to talk about it? I'm so mad at breasts. DM us if you want to get it off your chest. <laughs> at least it's better than like a dick fixation. Like Nick Cutter had. He really liked the peen. My. That, that fella. My. I know. That was. There were a lot of children Ooh, in that book. Oh boy, so there that was sure weird. was. Okay, here's where it's going to get heavy again if you don't like suicide. Just beep boop. Yep, yep. Um, The Grant family, Stephen, Jocelyn, Matt, and Tyler. Matt is like 12 or something. 13. 13. Tyler is a, he's an older dude, 17 or so. Um, Steve and Jocelyn, they were not originally from the town. They moved there for Steve's job and they got stuck there and there's always been that resentment. It comes up every now and again, gets real nasty. And they got stuck while pregnant with Tyler? Yes, wow. yes. And then there's also a little thing like, like Tyler, I think she was already pregnant or she just mm-hmm. got pregnant with Tyler. Like they yeah. couldn't help that one. But then once they're already stuck there, she had Matt and Steve has always kind of held that against her. Yeah, he's like, you didn't kid. need to have another yeah. child. And he, you know, felt that way too, obviously. Yeah. Like I didn't need to be here. And, um, like, they're good people. Again, they don't partake in the town's shenanigans. Mm -hmm. They don't want people to be flogged. No. Steve is a psychologist. When his son has a mental breakdown and he's in shock, he's so nice to him. I know. Fuck. And when he finds out... So, Tyler, he made a website hidden from the Hex people to try to expose Catherine. Mm -hmm. They filmed her. They were doing these stupid experiments. It was dumb. But yeah. I get it. I do too. Their whole yeah. life has been censored. Sure. Mm-hmm. Of course. And you're bored. And he wants to break <laughs> it. He thinks like if people know she's here, surely somehow someone can help us get rid of her. Sure. If so, there can be a curse, that means something can break mm-hmm. it. Like, right? You don't. So I totally get it. Mm-hmm. It goes too far with Jaden and he... It stresses him out a lot. He has a psychotic break, but he finally tells his dad, and he knows he has to stop the web- website for the good of the town, for the good of everyone. And they Even, do. 
even if it, it means he's always going to be watched extra hard now and mm-hmm. he can't have his little girlfriend. And Matt's just like a nice kid. Mm-hmm. They're all just trying so hard. Yeah. <sighs> they're just a nice, like, yeah. cute little family that all love each other and they're just like generally happy, even though they're in kind of a shitty situ- yeah. situation. And then Jaden, um, <clears throat> after he comes back <clears throat> from his torture event. <laughs> He sneaks into Tyler's room when he's sleeping and plays a recording of the witches whispering that they had. And the next morning, he kills himself, hangs himself. Mm-hmm. And then Matt, I guess he's so, like, driven by, like, scared of what he sees. And then he also hears Catherine. I'm not really sure why. That was he... never clarified, like, yeah. what exactly happened to so Matt. So Matt finds a bunch of poisonous mushrooms and he eats them oh. and then he pours glue on his eyes. Mm-hmm. All normal things. Yep. yep. <laughs> so they find him, like, half dead with his eyes glued shut. Yeah. Tyler's hanged in his room, already dead. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is, like, near Christmas, you know? Yes. It was, uh, yeah, like the beginning of December. Oh, it was or so rough. That's where I put the book down, and I was like, "I'm gonna put Family Guy." On. Yeah, because then Steve, Steve loses his mind. He's just staring at like his son's room, and Tyler's his favorite. Yeah, just fucking. At, he has weird points where he's just like laughing maniacally. He's he, like, "What?" This he has a psychotic break. Yeah, Jocelyn is deeply deeply like she has her son matt who was like her favorite mm-hmm. but he now is all you know old glue eyes over here <laughs> glue eyes mcgee <laughs> they kind of fix it they give tyler they take tyler's eyes oh sure the yeah old transplant. they fix it and then steve just lets his son die it's like mm, it was no. fine for a second <laughs> and he's like dad you're here you I can think- save me no. <laughs> so Matt's kind of in a coma for a while, and then he wakes up, and I think he's blind in one eye. Yeah. But he can see from the other one. And Jocelyn's just real fucking sad. Yeah. No one knows what to do. Everyone just comes around the pe- the family like, are you okay? Do you need a casserole? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, I know hanging it doesn't sound like it would be so disturbing because like oh, it happens God, a lot but, in films and books but but the bodies don't look like they do in films yeah you get like bloated and purple yeah and, like, and Catherine was like hovering behind him yes exactly the whole time like a fucking creep it's disturbing and again like steve how he goes insane it's so hard to read no it oh was, my God. it was so difficult but also okay does everyone have a favorite child <laughs> Well, that, that was thing? The because whole theirs thing. were so obvious. Like she obviously favored Matt. He obviously favored. Tyler. I think it's again because um, Tyler. They're already pregnant, right? When, and he came, and Steve. That was like I guess her shining light in the whole thing. Yeah, but then Matt. And he like, didn't. We shouldn't have had him. Yeah, but then she wanted him. Yeah. So they have him. So. I like the questions they pose. Like, would you, if you had the chance, would you? Kill the whole town to save us or kill us to save the whole town. Yeah. yeah. Who would you Which is die? something he has to do in the mm-hmm. end. It all comes full circle. Yeah. When I heard that at the beginning, it was like, oh, no. Yeah. Is this going to be a Don't thing? Don't ask that <laughs> Shit. Why would you I'll ask that all. at breakfast or whatever? <laughs> what weird fucking question. You know question. what? You catch them while they're off guard. You know, they just woke up. That's when you get the most real answer. Oh, what am I supposed to say? That's when you get the most real answer. Of course you're going to choose your old flesh and blood. Yeah, fuck the town. Yeah. It's fuck a town them. of they're shitheads. Cunts. Probably. I, ever, I mean, I don't have kids. I don't love anything that much, but I'd imagine if I did, I would I'd kill the whole town. Them, yeah. I would choose Chloe over the whole fucking town. Mm, Are you kidding? <laughs> Chloe's floofy. That right? makes She's sense. She's perfect. That just makes mm-hmm. sense. <laughs> I endorse this message. It's fair. <laughs> There's also a really horrible da- uh, dog suicide, which I've never read before. Yeah, what? Um, a dog hangs itself. I himself. Uh, I fucking knew sweet, it. What was his name? Fletcher. Fletcher, sweet baby. Mm-hmm. That was the dog that Jaden fucking made attack um, Catherine. Yeah, and then she, the doggo bit Catherine because mm-hmm. he's just a doggo, you yeah. know. And there's a ghost, <laughs> and then he fucking killed himself. <laughs> Out of a tree. So figure that one out. <laughs> that whole scene was like, wait a minute. No. Huh? Did, even in the book, they're like, did the dog huh? hang itself? 
And they're like, well, how do you? It's so high happen. up. <laughs> <laughs> and then she like brought him back. They think? I guess. Yeah. Something happened. Something I don't know. It was like, very pet I'll cemetery this, for a little I'll while. Fix this. And everyone's like, we didn't ask. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the you. day, she's like, you know, I do like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I don't want to wear a demon dog. No. Pet cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> Never goes well. Oh, themes here. I mean, revenge is a whole thing. It's the most beautiful theme of the moment. Which it turns out in the end, she never wanted revenge. She just wanted her kids and to be live in peace. Freedom of like the feeling. Of yep. That shit feeling. It's the town's the town was always the dark one. Mm-hmm. So when she opens her eyes, <laughs> it pops off real quick. If the whole town feels it. They drop everything they're doing. It comes in three waves. At the last wave, if you're not in town, if you don't get to town as you as soon as possible, yourself. you kill yourself. So if you're like on vacay, <laughs> oh, you're, you're fucked. Yeah. Um, Jocelyn and Matt barely make it mm-hmm. back. And if you're an outsider, you are repelled by the town. Yeah. You have to fuck off. So everyone's stuck in there. And really nothing was going on, but they built up the whole thing so much that they all, like, they had a riot in the streets. They were Suddenly fucking, everything's on fire and there are so many They're like corpses. naked people. Yeah. I don't know who would go. So there's like, I got to get new. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a riot. And I'm, I'm They're just no close. shooting each other and <laughs> raping each other, like mauling kids in the street. Throwing and, um, bodies into the church and yeah. lighting them on fire. Okay. And Steve, Steve like goes in a coma for a few years. He really does. <laughs> he just fucks off into the woods and goes into this a coma. This is for me. Yeah, which is, <laughs> that's something I would do. And it's like, nope. He comes back and yeah, the church is on fire with his wife and son in it, who he thought would be fine because they were out of town, but you know yeah. that her whole thing is she makes you kill yourself if you're out of town. Exactly. So put that so together, hello, Steve. Steve. I, he just really wanted her to bring Tyler back. That was the whole thing yeah, yeah, that yeah. pushed him to open her eyes and mouth. Even I think Catherine was like, no. Yeah, she's like, bruh, it's not, it's not happening. Get out of here. Leave. <laughs> Probably wasn't fucking Fletcher. They just wanted it to be. Yeah. You know, there are other <laughs> dogs. So, yeah, the whole town is losing it. Steve goes to the church. He, if he goes in there to save Jocelyn and Matt. <laughs> But then I don't really know. He just he just changes loses his mind. it. Well, because he thinks that he has to sacrifice his son to get it, his other son. Catherine gave him so many chances. She's to like, do they're the in right there. Thing. Don't do what I did. Yes, or yeah. else this will happen. Exactly. And she's probably just outside, fucking just shaking, her watching head. from a window, like ah, uh, uh, mommy. So he just goes to have a nap in the basement <laughs> while his son and wife are Burn. like, please. Yeah. Help us. Like, no. no. Did you hear that? I didn't hear that. Just the wind. <laughs> so uh, everyone in the church burns and dies. And then the whole town walks into the sea and dies. I loved that. Because I'm like, where the fuck are they going? They're heading to the highway. Oh, okay. Maybe they're looking for how Oh, water? They made it to yep. New York, right? Like the town like next to and, New yeah, York. And, and just, just walked drove. into the water. <laughs> into the Hudson. <laughs> What would you do if you found 3,000 3, bodies? <laughs> you're fishing and then you're like, what's that? Oh. What's that? What's that? Oh. What's, uh, oh fuck. Fuck. Well, that person's going to need some serious help. Do you call the cops first or do you film a little first? So the government would obviously know like, oh, <laughs> that town really went south. So they'd, they'd probably call it a cult town they'd or give something, that a, right? The classic government cover. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what happens to Catherine? Do you think she just fucked off? Or? Probably. She's like, well, they're all dead. I'm free now. Yeah, maybe. Or she's still just walking a boot. No, she might be free because she, like, I don't yeah, know. She's she trying to, like, her teach weird, them a lesson. She had her weird tower, her breast tower, for a while. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Steve I wakes, have all the children in Steve my bosom. Steve wakes up and he's like, I sure made a boo-boo here. <laughs> I should sew my mouth and I eyes killed shut. my family. And then he sees a shadow of a boy outside who we assume is Tyler. And he's like, this is a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. So then he sews his eyes and mouth shut. Yep, that's the solution. What? And that's how And he it didn't ends. even find out if it was Tyler. He's like, I don't want to know. And so he just starts <laughs> sewing. 
You don't have and to open. And now you're the new Catherine. You don't have to open the door, bro. What if you just yell like, no, I don't want this no. anymore. Mr. Superman, no home. Or just make a life with you and your weird undead son. Mm-hmm. You did it now, and the rest of your family's dead. I mean, that's what he did in Pet Cemetery, right? His daughter killed everyone, and he was like, but I mean, she's still my daughter. No, what's dead is dead. Yeah. Well, but Don't. then he, like, buried her, and then they came back and tried to yeah. kill him. Like, join it us, never, daddy. When huh? has this ever gone well? Read a Google, book, my Steve. Dudes. Read a book. Um, other themes. The government, community, mm-hmm. the bad side of community. <laughs> Witchcraft, love it. Well, like the community, it was like a mob mentality, yeah. right? And that happens very easily as history shows. Happens now, too. Happens now. It happens all the time. We're it's just going like, to you have a condemn peaceful someone? protest and walk down the street sharing our views. And, <laughs> and a handful of people are like, I'm going to throw a Molotov. <laughs> Why do you And then have the other that? people are like, well, if they're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> And then everyone's like, no, and this why wasn't. why do people want to lynch so this badly? Wasn't. Hi, Chloe. Mm. I don't see why people like lynching. Yeah, it's not That's cool. That's fucked up. It's not cool. Hi. Chloe. I must pet. Did you read this book? Would you want to come back as a demon cat? Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Look, Chloe would make a great undead cat. She'd be just as Just lazy. as bitchy. <laughs> Fade me now. Where's my wet food? Wow. Touch me, but then stop. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what are your thoughts on the emergency decree? Oh, my God. decision. Did they go too far with it? I think everything they did went too far. <laughs> I thought they were just all around fucked up. And, like, why would you make... Any of those, your laws and practices. They didn't try to fix anything. They were just like, here's how we're living with it. Great, yep, great solution. Eat you in the street. They're like, we can't kill her. So obviously, <laughs> this is our next best thing. They pull this guy out of his house in the middle of the night, beat him mm-hmm. mercilessly in the hallway, and then drag him away. Mm, fun. Oh, and they don't have cops in this town. No. It's just like town volunteers. Well, they hide, hide everything from the cops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, I asked that question. What songs did this book make you think of? So I have two. Yes. Cattle to Captions, Life Stalker, because it's very intensely about how we are doing this to ourselves, and that was very much Black Spring mm-hmm. was doing mm-hmm. it to themselves. Mm-hmm. And Slayer, World Painted Blood, because the ending. Very aggressive, <laughs> very aggressive songs. Mm-hmm. I have uh, We're Not Gonna Make It by Alba August, <laughs> which is pretty straightforward. Love it, yeah. <laughs> That's from that Danish show, The Rain. Oh. If anyone wants to watch it. There you it. go. <laughs> and then Where the Dark Things Are by Curly, or Carly. Okay. I don't know how to say her name. I have no idea. But it's real spooky. Mm. It's just like succumbing to the darkness. Darkness. Mm. What a book. I loved it. Fucked up. Loved it. It was a very nice change from the other two books. Which books? Because they were lighter, that's for sure. Yeah, and it's usually like we have this. She starts off kind of lost and weak. Yeah, and then finds the power. This powerful bitch. Yeah. This one wasn't even really about the witch. It's about this just, fucked up town. She's just walking around, man. Yeah. She's Minding literally her own just business. walking around. Yeah. Oh boy. Poor What Catherine. a weird, weird book. I loved, loved it. Loved it. <laughs> the author, Thomas. Thomas. He is Dutch. I think I said he was Danish last episode. I'm sorry. He's Dutch. <laughs> wow. He's I'm sorry. He's the <laughs> author of five novels and many stories of the fantastic. Huh. What? <laughs> I didn't write that. It's oh, from okay. the book. <laughs> He has won the Hugo Award and been nominated for multiple World Fantasy Awards for his short fiction. Wow. This was his first novel to be translated to English. His other books have since been translated to other languages. He's like a global per. He studied in Ottawa, I think. Oh, really? Somewhere in Canada. He lived there for a year. 
Then he fucked off. Then he lived in some <laughs> other place. I don't know. Then you he know fucked what? off. That's, that's the right thing to do. No. He's just, he seems like a really, a really jolly fellow. He was inspired by some, his aunt or someone used to read him really fucked up stories about witches. Oh, okay. Oh, um, fuck, what's that book? Is it a fairy tale? Um, Ronald, uh, or is it Robert <laughs> Dahl? You know that guy? Nope. You don't know that author? I don't know. That's not how you spell it. I just wrote da. <laughs> da. I'll get the name. Talk about something. Mm, sorry. I'm chewing. This is very good vegan pate. He was inspired by the book. The suspense is killing me. Wow. The, <laughs> the witches. Wow, really? <laughs> Oh my god, I forget what it's called. <laughs> I thought it I thought really? it was really elaborate. Oh my god. And like she just read him really fucked up stories and it would mess him up. You know what? You're and he the wanted aunt. <laughs> you don't have to deal with their nightmares. And then he wanted to have a book that does that for people. Well fucking success. Oh so he did. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh You know fuck. what really gets people? Suicide. You know what else gets people? The parents' perspective of their children's suicide. Oh, my ah, God, Tom. You fucked hard. <laughs> I think he's a father, too. Oh, my God. So that's why it felt so real. Yeah. Because he knows how he'd feel. Like, he kind of channeled it, I guess. I think he is. There's a kid on his Instagram. I don't know. Could but be his. Maybe yeah. he stole someone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you look like your picture worthy. I, 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 I wouldn't read it again just because I can't handle it mentally. <laughs> No, I know. I agree. Thomas, it's not, it did a real number on me. It's, I don't think it's a reread, but it's I a very it. good like shock factor for when you first if get you want to feel it. like shit, and also very confused yeah. for a lot of it. I'll read this book. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. really liked it. Though. That was witchcraft through the ages. Yeah, I was thinking of like, man, what are my top five books going to be for this year? Because like last year we yeah, each picked seven theme. and we picked five. This theme has a lot. I have like ten. I don't know how to pick. Everything we've read this year was so good. We have to start that discussion soon. We do. We do. Mm. But not until we do our, what's it called? Haunted House theme. Because mm. it's October next. Mm -hmm. If you didn't know what comes after September. Spook season. And it's spooky. So we're going to start with Riley Sager because he's amazing. Home Before Dark. So I think this glows in the dark, but I still haven't seen it. We'll do it today. Okay. I'm charging it right now. Mm -hmm. Just get in there. <laughs> Woo! Hugga bugga, hugga bugga. Okay. Let's read the synopsis. That's, okay. Maggie Holt doesn't believe in these things, even though they are details of the story that made her family famous. 25 years ago, she and her parents, Ewan... Ewan? Ewan. 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 <laughs> Ewan and Jess moved into Bainberry Hall, a rambling Victorian estate in the Vermont woods. They spent 20 days there before fleeing in the dead of night. An ordeal Ewan later recounted in a horror memoir, House of Horrors. His tale of ghostly happenings and encounters with malevolent spirits became a worldwide phenomenon, rivaling the Amityville horror in popularity and skepticism. Maggie has lived her life in the shadow of her father's book, so when she inherits Bainberry Hall after his death, she returns to renovate the house to prepare it for its sale. However, her homecoming is anything but warm. People from the past, chronicled in House of Horrors, lurk in the shadows, and locals aren't thrilled that their small town has been made infamous thanks to Maggie's father. Even more unnerving is Bainberry Hall itself, a place filled with relics from another era that hint at a history of dark deeds. As Maggie experiences strange occurrences straight out of Ewan's book, she starts to wonder if what he wrote was more fact than fiction. Alternating between Maggie's uneasy homecoming and chapters from her father's book, oh cool, Home Before Dark is the story of a house with long buried secrets and a woman's quest to uncover them, even if the truth is far more terrifying than any haunting. Woo. That's fun. It's mm. switching between the books, like the, her perspective and the book. I missed that like I half can. of what you said because I was chewing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just taking up all your yeah. ear space. <laughs> 
Well, it sounds great. I read the synopsis in my spare time. Yeah, you go. Sounds good. I'm excited. What a dope cover. We read two of his books. We did. Final Girls and The Last Time I Led. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both were fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think Final Girls was the best, though. We didn't record Final Girls, we didn't. though. That was before this was a podcast. You know, but I wouldn't mind good. reading it again. Mm-hmm. We should do just a Riley Sager month because they're all fantastic. Yeah, he's got a lot of books. He's another new one, Lock Every Door, that yes. I want to read. I want to read that, too. We'll put a theme together for it. Jiminy Jillikers. Home safety. <laughs> no one lock, likes home safety. Lock those doors. Home spooky. <laughs> home spooky. No, home invasion's terrifying, and that's I'm always afraid someone's living in the walls. Yeah. Don't live in my walls. Yeah. Your walls are too thin for that. They are. They are. You're safe. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. There is a creature in my walls I can hear in the scratching. Oh, okay. At night. At me. Um, we have a lot coming up in October. Yeah. Because it's our favorite month. Because it's the best month. So excited. hmm So excited. Who starts with the October offerings? Go for it. (laughs) I'm doing 31 days of spook. I am bringing this to the table. (laughs) Which is 31 days of me watching a horror movie, a different one every day. I will make Instagram stories and I guess TikToks with short reviews, beginning, middle, end. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. Watch along with me, please. 31 days of spook. I will. On the nights that I, yeah. Yeah, I'll just there'll put be them some, on. There'll be some days where you'll be in it too, because when we record, we can watch a spooker movie. Oh, that's true. That's on the list. Yeah, excellent, yeah. excellent. Dare mm-hmm. I say? Um, and we're also doing countdown to Samhain challenge. So if you'd like to join in on the photo challenge, as much yeah. as Brandon enjoys me saying Samhain, it is pronounced Samhain. I know. <laughs> he kept like, it's like, okay, so is it? What's what's the deal? You're typing <laughs> Samhain, but you're saying. <laughs> I said it like that for a long time. I did too. Yeah. I did too. <laughs> but in case you didn't know, it's called Samhain. For so it's it's Gaelic, right? For Is the longest time, I said hecate, hectate, even though there's no T there. You're right. There's no and just tea. in my head. I know. I saw it because like hecate that. doesn't sound correct. Yeah, it sounds like you you were saying something and then you got like a thing caught in your throat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but your name's hecate. It's hecate. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can do the photo challenge. You tag um, Countdown to Samhain and then you, you tag us. And um, mm-hmm. every day is a new picture. Mm-hmm. So there's like crystals, mm-hmm. altar, familiar, mm-hmm. pumpkins. Mm-hmm. Keep mm-hmm. it fun. Mm-hmm. Keep it fresh. <laughs> I might do some Instagram lives for the movies I'm really excited about. Not for the whole movie because I, like that. I don't no, want no, 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 no. For like a little bill splash. Sure, yeah. sure. You yeah. can talk to me while I'm watching these films. Yeah. We're also going to do the Halloween cocktail thing we did last year. Yep. Something similar. So you can we'll, get a new um, cocktail. We'll have our anniversary And our video. two years. Yeah. Our favorite books of the year. Mm-hmm. There's Chloe again. Oh, she's really going. Oh, shit. Something. She got Leonard. Oh. Her little mouse. Yeah. His name's Leonard. <laughs> she likes to nerd bash. I will vanquish you. Ah, <laughs> uh, again, Leonard. Bash that nerd. <laughs> She's really going for it. Yeah. Someone's right. bored. <laughs> oh, my. Um, and we're going on a ha- haunted house adventure soonish. I really or so at uh, some yeah. point. I'm so message them. I'll I mean, do it tomorrow. If we can do that in October, that would be If great. it all works out, guys, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to try my best to make it happen. Try my darn We're going to do our list. own ghost adventures. Uh, Ghostbusters. Ghost Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, we're going to fuck it up. <laughs> Gay love can pierce through the veil of darkness. <laughs> Brandon, we need our own theme song. <laughs> Ghost faces. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, we're gonna be investigating a haunted house. Yeah, you know, as you yeah. do. Nothing. You we know, we nothing just need crazy. to know that it's actually haunted. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you want to know? Oh fuck. Know. Yeah. We're gonna sleep in there. See. <sighs> We have to. It's an Airbnb. We have to spend the night. I know, but even on not haunted houses, I can't sleep it's in rough. the dark. But there will like, be three of us at least. Can we stay in one room? Obviously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want to use the Ouija board there. But then what if we miss an out? But then what if it mm. it attaches itself to us? That's fair. And then we have to sleep 
there. We'll figure out how to. If you have any like ghost hunting tips, let us know. <laughs> this will be our first professional. Are ghost you a hunt. professional ghost hunter? <laughs> Do you have your own hotline? <laughs> Send it our way. <laughs> we should put like night vision cameras and film us sleeping. <laughs> if like a bra- a blanket gets tugged at night, <laughs> you just hear a lot of farts. <laughs> 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 and you see the odd blanket getting pulled and then suddenly a bitch just flies down a hallway. Ah! It'd I'll, be you because you keep asking for it. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I should really <laughs> stop just it. Just drag me down a hallway. God damn it. I'll stand up in the middle of the night forgetting where I am and be like, huh. <laughs> and then go back to bed. <laughs> you psycho. I got to close the window. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm in a basement. <laughs> this isn't my house. <laughs> That's not my beautiful wife. <laughs> How did I get here? <laughs> oh, you ever just wake up like, what the fuck <laughs> happened? <laughs> it's the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. When am I? <laughs> so we'll see how that rolls. <laughs> mm. At last I checked, they had a lot of openings. Cause, you yeah, because they're fucking haunted. COVID. Oh, that too. Yeah. So, should we not drink if we're there? Does that ruin Chelsea, the haunting? Chelsea, we're going to drink and smoke. <laughs> it's true. When do we go somewhere and not do that? Fair. And then, I just, you You're going to be more scared. Are you going to miss a haunting because you're too busy being drunk? Maybe. <sighs> I'm sure we'll it'll see. be fine. We'll see. I'm sure it'll be fine. We can set up the GoPro in the corner of the room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just have it on, yeah, on yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a whole thing. Oh, Nelly. That'll be fun. I hope it uh, goes somewhere. I look forward to it. <clears throat> we need to go find more haunted places. How do I do that that day of spook if we're there in October? We still watch a movie. Okay. What else are we going to fucking do? But like, so we'll watch it on like a phone there? Do they not have TVs? <laughs> I guess so. It looked really old in the photo. So do they have like those <laughs> tube TVs? I'm imagining, like, like, I'm imagining like a shack. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it's a modern house. If we have to watch it on a phone. <laughs> Everyone get close. <laughs> what they say? <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, fuck. I also got to watch Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Because that movie was fantastic. I'll have some light Halloween fair movies, you know. If you don't want to get spooked. You should always want to get spooked. Always. I remember, so when I lived with my dad, he had a cable so or satellite. I don't know. One of those things that gives you channels. I don't do that. Sure. But um, he had AMC playing all of October, which was great because it's like only <laughs> horror movies. But oh my God, it was just Tremors. <laughs> like every day one of the tremors was on and i'm like oh there's kevin bacon why is this playing as the horror movie yeah it's not a horror movie <laughs> it's a comedy no <laughs> i think the classic why. movies are always on tremors deep blue sea lake placid yes. <laughs> always on is it because they're cheap like they've got to be hey listen i'll always watch it i i mean tremors deep is fun blue sea. <laughs> Is absurd. You gotta love Kevin Bacon. I will hide from the shark in an oven. <laughs> Random sharks are the best, like the lake shark in. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, why is. <laughs> oh my God. It, it came from when the ocean tide that, was high. There's always that one guy, like, there shouldn't be a shark here. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you are correct. <laughs> Why is there a gator Lake here? Placid, yeah, she had like a 40-foot crocodile as a pet. And she was like, I'm sorry, I couldn't control him. <laughs> but he's my boy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Guys. Oh, God, I love movies. They're so stupid. Some mm-hmm. Sharknado? <laughs> Hurricane Heist? I didn't watch it, but it sounds stupid. Croctopus. What? Are or you... was it oc- no. Octocroc? Oc- <laughs> They combine a lot of the things. Sharktopus. Oh, no. I think was one of them. And then they fight each other. Of course they do. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like <laughs> all good <laughs> monster oh, movies. Fuck. There's one on Netflix, is it, that we were going to watch? I think it is a crocodile. 
Is it just the croc? Kind of like the Meg or something? There's um crawl something. Oh, it's crawl. It's yeah. crawl. Okay. I watched that. It was fun. Yeah. It's cute. <laughs> it's we cute. were in a monster movie mm-hmm. mood, so we watched the Meg and a bunch of other I shit. I watched um Anaconda, the one no. for the blood orchid. Uh, excellent. <laughs> Beautiful These movies are brutal. Monster <laughs> movies are so good. Because yes, they're so bad. Jason Statham, what are you yeah. doing? Turns out the floor of the ocean isn't a floor. <laughs> it's just the mist. It goes deeper. <laughs> oh my god, we killed the Meg. Oh my god, there's another one. <laughs> and for years, the, the sharks were just like, nah, I don't want to go through that mist. I just don't want it. Until that one day, they were like, yeah. I'm going to go through I'm going to go mist. through this mist. Yeah. Seems cool up there. <laughs> Wait, that's not the ceiling. Whoa, it's a whole it's new world. <laughs> Sharks are dumb. The humans are dumb. Everyone deserves to be <laughs> eaten in those movies. <laughs> Jesus. You think you kill that shark, but then there's a no, bigger shark. One. What was that other one? That um, Piranha? Oh, And Piranha then there was 3D. Piranha 3 Double D. <laughs> and it was just hits <sighs> on the front. Yep. <laughs> Not subtle. I will never forget. <laughs> Bathsheba, we went to Mike's old apartment. She had yeah. like 40 shots. <laughs> an amount of shots that should have killed her. Mm. And then we went to see Shark Night 3D. And she was yelling through the whole movie. <laughs> As you should. And so many people were like, shut the fuck up. Get out of oh, here. Oh, you're watching this? <laughs> she was a goddamn mess. <laughs> Going to a theater to see those. I don't know. I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's the big screen. It's funny. So it's it's, so funny. Yeah. (sighs) It's better than going to see a fucking chick flick at a theater. Why waste the money? Mm -hmm. We've all done that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chloe. She's back again. She's pooped from her attack. So much Chloe action tonight. So speaking of Stephen King, Mm -hmm. (laughs) have you watched The Mist? Not the TV show. I watched the movie. Okay. Are you talking about the movie or the TV no, show? No, the TV show. I haven't watched the TV we show. We just started it. We're is three it? episodes in. Mike had a lot of words about it. The acting is poor. I'd imagine so, <laughs> yes. Yes. And then everyone's making really stupid choices. They weren't great in the movie either. Oh, no. <laughs> a lot of stupid things have happened where it's like, why? what? Yeah. And so yeah. far, we have no explanations. I mean, I'm assuming it's like... I didn't read the book. It's a real bad mist. I'm assuming... It's government thing that turned wrong, but I don't know. I won't. I won't say anything. Yeah, yeah. My lips are sealed. But it's kind of stupid. Yeah, it's pretty fucking dumb. And the (laughs) ending is like, huh. It's a real bummer of an ending. (laughs) Oh, no. It's okay. We're going to pause watching that and start watching Away because that just came out. And, you know, that looks – I like space. We just watched – we went on like a space marathon of movies watching like Life and Cloverfield Paradox. Ooh. I still haven't seen that one. No, no, I did. No, I did. You must have. I did. You had to. I did. Yeah, I did. <sighs> and it was nothing like 13 Cloverfield Lane. That was such nothing. a good movie. <laughs> 13 Cloverfield Lane uh, is dope as fuck. <sighs> Cloverfield Paradox is fun, but stupid. It's fun. It's weird. Yeah. But I really like it. And yeah. then, honestly, both those movies are better than just Cloverfield. Yes. Which is hilarious. Yes. Because... They were spawned from that. Their I are purposely better. avoided any alien movies in my 31 Days of Spook because too oh, okay. spooky. Too, too spook. spooky. Too really? Spooky. I'm going to be that's alone your line. for a lot of them. <laughs> it's too <laughs> spooky. I go to sleep after. <laughs> I'm alone. That's fair. That's fair. I don't want to hold me. I'm and all alone. Chloe. Are you ever scared? You're like, Chloe, come here. And then she's like, no. And she yeah, and she up. just never, she doesn't give a shit, you bitch. <laughs> Maybe if I sleep on the yeah, couch. Yeah, you look at that wall. <laughs> if I sleep on the couch, she'll sleep on the other one. But like, that's not comforting because then the kitchen lights off and there's a window there. Yeah. And the ice machine <laughs> always scares me in any house I'm in. Yeah. It always comes in at the worst time. It's true. We don't have ours anymore. So at least there's that. that. Oh. At least there's that. But then, you know, there's the weird ghost action that keeps happening mm-hmm. all around this mm-hmm. area that I'm in right now. Yeah, I keep using that ghost app and there's always figures around my room. I'm like, okay, cool. That's it. You're going to die. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, God, die, We may bitch. use a widget board tonight. Widget. 
Oija? Oija. We used it before. It went well, so I'm confident mm-hmm. it'll go well again. <laughs> <laughs> what could go wrong? Uh-oh. Famous last words. <laughs> uh, what if my house is already haunted? And then a ghost attaches itself to me. And then the ghosts are like, get out of here. I'm haunting this house. Then they duke it out. They fight. They fight. Which ghost gets to ghost? They see my butt. If you're ever scared of a ghost, remember, like, they see you nude. They They see you, like, jerking it, having sex, fucking farting. (laughs) If you have diarrhea, they've seen it. (laughs) That's especially when they see it because they're like, oh, I hear what's going on. They hop their way into the bathroom and they're like, hey. Oh, when I greened out on the toilet and I almost passed out (laughs) and I was just covered in sweat. (laughs) They saw that. So they don't even want to attack you anymore. They're like, this girl's got it rough. She's having a hard She doesn't hard need time. our hunting. You see me watch the fucking 27 dresses like eight times this week. This week. And you're not that okay. good. It's a good movie. And she has the 27 dresses. I know. It's, it's and okay. And Marston is cute in it. I mean, you're making me kind of want to watch it's it again. Like, we're going to watch a feel-good movie. <laughs> Is that the one where they're, like, singing Benny and the Jets yeah. in the bar? Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, a cute I'm sorry, movie. I'm making noise. I'm sorry. It's, it's a cute film. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> but I don't know about, like, 20 times. Wait. <laughs> you'll see. You'll watch it again. You'll be like, I gotta watch this. I'm in on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens when you're not watching Say Yes to the Dress. Oh. Don't even get me started on that. I know. I know. Love it. <laughs> it's so good. Great dresses. Although this one girl, she wanted a naked dress. Oh, no. And she put one on that was actually really fucking nice. Yeah? It was like okay. long sleeve and it had like a sheer skirt. Okay. And it was really nice, but she didn't fucking pick it. She picked this oh. hideous one. I'm sorry. No offense to you. But. Well, that's the fun about Say Yes to the Dress is that you have different opinions. It's and then like the moms hunters. have different opinions, but the moms are bitches. Because yeah. they're always like, I want it my way. It's like, it's not your fucking it's like, wedding. It's like in House Hunters when they pick the wrong fucking house. <laughs> you know what? They you have to live it. with that choice. Yeah. So. You ruined it. Mm-hmm. You all fucking ruined it. Anyway. Deal with it. <laughs> How did we say goodbye again? Um, then farewell, 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 farewell. It's Dutch. It's like farewell, but farewell, farewell, farewell. It's Dutch for goodbye. I'm pretty sure. So that, that. was Lily. <laughs> that was Chelsea. Oh, our next episode is a bonus episode. Ooh, what are we reviewing? Who knows? We don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. We'll, we'll figure it out. But that's that's next week because mm-hmm. the bonus ones are next week. Every five episodes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then um follow us on Instagram at the Adobe Book Bear Coven. Mm-hmm. 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 Spooky stuff. 31 days of spook. The other shit we said. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just not want to say Samhain? No. Samhain. 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 The Samhain countdown. (laughs) Just Samhain. (laughs) Spook, 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 spook. I'm going to make us ghosts right here. Ooh, Ooh, and you get to see us in costumes. The big reveal. Maybe we'll be ghosts. Oh, Who knows? Can we be ghosts? We'll just put sheets and we cut can eye holes. Be, but I already bought a costume. We can be two things. Two costumes, okay. We'll be Lady Gaga, you know, intermission, and we'll do a costume change. change. Or that'll be like a reveal. I'm not a ghost oh, at all. Oh, her VMA performance. It was good. Don't even talk it was about good. it. So Loved it. many fun outfits. Okay. I'm sorry. That about We're going to end it now. Here.